prisoners on his back. All right, what did he do? He killed 15 novices and himself. According to the only eye Holy shit. Survive, hey, he entered the teaching room. Oh, no, yeah, what is that thing for that host? But instead, but he gave a strange today. speech in which he Friday, explained that humanity is You ain't got no job. Void, and you ain't got shit to as do. He put it. And his eyes started glowing. He locked the door and well, he tore himself apart with a magical explosion. You can imagine the kind of uproar that caused. All right. Before we move on with the dialogue, what's going on? You like the uh, the fry butt? I need to get a couple links up there. First off, if you guys aren't following Mr. Adam Grave, check out his stream and. I get it spelled right? I think I got Zari's. Smoke weed every day. I did! You've been playing Dark Souls still. How are you liking it? Are you still enjoying it? And for Adam, what do you think of No Man's Sky? I've been playing the shit out of No Man's Sky. Well, I'm not exactly one for vows and austerity, so no, I'm no keeper. I guess you could say my specialty is recovering things that have been lost. Treasures, tomes, memories, and the like. And the order hired me to do exactly that. They want to know how I buried the shit out of the like final boss. Nice. Red madness. And also, if there's a discernible pattern to how this malady or whatever it is chooses its victims. So, in other words, you're searching for his motives. How can I help you with that? I don't know anything about this Yero. True, but that's irrelevant. Yero grew up in a small village named. Sometimes they see a lot of dialogue. I guess. The other wardens. He visited this area quite often after his partner's death. So it's quite possible we could find some clues around here. Shards of his past, if you like. I've already searched most of the area, but a second pair of eyes wouldn't hurt. What do you think? I think you're gonna send me on a bunch of fucking fetch quests or something. Well, for starters, I needed to travel to Riverville and talk to an old man named Alfred. He was a childhood friend of Yarrow's, and he might be able to tell us something worthwhile. Secondly, a boy from the village told me that he saw Yarrow throw something into the water near a cliff to the east. Go there and see if you can find whatever it was he wanted to get rid of. I myself will have a look at the house Yarrow grew up in. Here, this is a map of the region. The blue dot over here is Yarrow's old house. Uh, and at the risk of sounding heartless, you should head back to the apothecary's camp. Maybe the bandits left behind some equipment. If there's nothing oh, else, shit. I'd say off we go. Let's shed some light on this Yarrow and his motivations. Meet me at his old house when you're ready. I'll be waiting there. All right, so if a quest objective is marked by one or three more stars, they indicate the difficulty of said quest. At the same time, the level you should have for the quest. Very easy, easy, medium, and hard. Okay. See, I know what you're where you're going with that, Adam. Um, I'm enjoying the fact that, um, and I still don't even have my Atlas Pass yet. That I can still see something. Yeah, all the planets kind of look alike. But we've seen some really cool ones. It is fun to explore. It's good for my morning stream. I found that out while I'm trying to wake up and shit. I'm just like, oh, this works. This works. But, uh... Yeah, the robot people, right, uh, Muffin? No worries, Mr. Adam. No worries, Mr. Adam Grave. We will catch you later. Before I continue, though, I gotta refill my drink. Um... Give me like a minute, two minutes. I'll be right.
Make sure I get everything turned on before I come back to this screen. I did hear the hit alarm go off. So I have a hit and I need to load a ball. Yeah, Rambro, it's loud enough that I heard it with my headphones off as I walked behind my green screen. Like I can hear it through the headphones. What are the symptoms of early onset reefer madness? <coughs> I'm not sure. I try to avoid those kind of people. You know? <coughs> I tried to think of something kind of clever, but I couldn't. Um, I don't know. Early onset reefer madness? Smoke weed. Weird dear weed. Hager6025, uh, what is up, man? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the smoke circle. We're going to uh, pay active for five. Ah, let's do 10,000 joints. For our new followers, got a bunch of joints. More sound effects, mini games. Um. And no, unfortunately, no, uh, no song requests tonight because we're actually listening to this story. Okay. So he put on our, do we have a map? Did he put, give us waypoints? He gave us two places to go. We can either go to the strong box in the water or we can go talk to Euro's uh, childhood friend, Alfred. What do you guys think? Water or Alfred? On this, the only other mods I'm using right now, because this mod changes everything, obviously, Muffin, is Sky UI and my wearable lanterns. I have nothing else installed. I just installed it this app. What do you guys think? I'm thinking... Yeah, see? I was kind of thinking the water. Go get it over with. I'm not running the Frostfall mod on this. I have that on my other save, but... Here. Can't put a waypoint there. Put it there. And yeah, my munchies persist, but unfortunately my wife didn't buy cookies. I didn't ask her to. But she did leave. Whoa. Fucking trail mix. Yay! Whatever, it works. You should sleep. Just for an hour.
Body of Skyrim is hit or miss, Rambro. Not gonna lie. Go right there. And I was so nervous to install this because I'm like... I have a stable. Fairly stable Skyrim build. With mods I had. Oh! The fuck was that? I was like, do I really want to go in here and fuck with it by doing another mod? Like, this looks good. What do you guys think? Like, it's a totally different vibe than Skyrim. Oh, by the water, we're slowing down a little bit. 50 frames per second? Not too bad. So this is a whole new... Well, let's see. It's a whole new map. I love it. I don't have Frostfall installed, so I can just swim in the water. I wonder if maybe Skyrim in the summertime might look like this. All green and lush. Hey, little shit! I left you alone! Like, I am enjoying this. It's definitely worth checking out. Now, Rambro, are you hoping that the uh, special edition uh, fixes those issues? What is Mr. Rambro's thoughts, or anybody's thoughts on the special edition that's coming out?